We're in chapter 5. Aunt Grace, is this you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after you did. What? He ran away? What did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easy to blame someone else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran, don't worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining, shining, shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, to hate, but the darkness wants to free you from all this disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. Guessing that's not your aunt, Fran, but your room is very beautiful. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he's fine, but what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock, crazy sounds that never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time, or I'm just imagining things, but if that's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dern said that everything in my is in my head. My nurse has always chained me up. I love this comic. My slippers. Yeah, I painted this one, my kitty and me. Oh, hey, look. And the wind took all the magic dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Inward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, no, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that, can, that we can see, the black ones, the white ones, do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Lennon came to visit once. He told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me, then, why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It happens that I am a key collector. I'll be right back. I'm a different Fran now. Oh goodness, I'm a different Fran. I'm a little Fran. Uh, I'll do all the keys. That's why you are grounded, little lady. <laughs> Crayons, I don't feel like drawing. Blue blankets. Oh, look at this is my dress and my little straight jacket. Okay. Let's see which key probably this one. Arg, it won't fit. Ah, I'm locked. This is like a little baby friend. Thank you so much, friend. Hee <laughs> hee. You really have a lot of keys. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget, Paul Tronas told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it'll help you open something. The golden... Oh, I want to read it. Ped... Helen Tross, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, you told me that if we meet, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. Okay. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitten away from me. Nobody. Oh, everything is new all of a sudden. The little gold box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by my ears. First twice to the left, once to the right. I rub its 
only I two times to see if the tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining, you little gone box. Press your eye again and open the door. Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's write some stuff down. Alright, let's just examine this riddle. Alright, so it's like, he has like little things on his side. Where did my pen go? I lost my pen. Alright. First, by pressing the ears, first twice to the left, once to the right. It's I two times. Ah, oh, goodness, I need, I need a pen. Oh, I found my pen, it's okay. Here we go. So, we'll have boxes. Screaming boogers were driving me mad, so I press it by the ears, first twice to the left, twice to the right, and rub its only eye two times to see if it's tears in time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining, you little gold box. I press your eye again. Okay. So, let's figure out if we can figure this bot box nonsense all right so we want to go ear two times on its left ear two times on its right two times on its middle ear one time on its left ear that's not right what am i missing well his ears looked reversed to be honest so let's restart so this looks like his left ear right you're supposed to look at a person yeah so two two, two, and then back over to his left. That's not right. What am I missing? Okay. Two on his left ear. Two on his right. Two on his eye. Back over again to his left ear. What do you mean that's not right? That is right. Well, Golden Box is having a hard time. All the screaming was driving me mad. Okay. I pressed it by the ears first twice to the left, once to the right. Alright, so twice to the left. Wait, wait, wait. Once to the right. Oh, I did twice and twice. That's it. Just a little misreading. Alright. Two to the left. One to the right. Two in the eye. Left, then again in the eye. Oh my goodness, it opened. I'm a master. Okay. Now I've got a bunch of shit. Mooka Mooka, wake up, Mother Mooka. The horrid child is playing the light. The Volca is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mooka, wake up, wake up, and give up a child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Maboka must wake up. Let's build the e-clog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bulbs, and too bright is the light. She cried, me, Mocha, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horn. Okay. The empty case. I need to get all this shit. Now I've got to collect shit again. Get a case. Bulb. Clock. Water bottle. Soap. Glove. Wire key. Alright, so now we gotta design this crap. And we've got, like, this key. Which we'll combine with this. Well, yeah, we will, actually. Okay. Fuck. Crayons, teddy bear, I mean, I just need to, like, take a look and find some stuff. You yeah, it's cat hair all over it. It's some- my summer hat doesn't fit anymore, my head's too big. What's this? Oh, this is Alice from school, we like to play together. Which it's Alice from Wonderland. Summer dress with a big button. The shoes, they make me think of the great dance. Those are some balloons. Dollhouse. Here's a watch. Let's take that. Piano keys.
Oh, there's like a key here. What could it be? Is there something back there? Alright, we got another key. Who knows what that's to? Do I see this queen for my dad's playing cards? Do like a pet rock? A doll? Some matches? Well, I guess that key was the only thing there for me. Wow. Beautiful. Lovely kitten. Is there anything else here? Well, actually, what's this? Look at this before you go. Hi, I love this picture of Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. Okay. What a big guy you have. What are you looking at? So now we've got another key. Hey look, another key. I don't think it's appropriate, miss. Sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforcement. It'd be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth, I see. What I can do with the key then? And who are you, if I ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuko's den. Mabuko, who's Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I've been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing, and tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay, Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? I am in the fifth reality. I thought Romar was the king there. Ah, oh, Romar the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. Alright, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Let's call 911. Inside the little house. I have the key from inside the little house, actually. That's right here. Hmm. I guess that's helping me to find the next key for the next door. Intruder, infiltrator, why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am a Kulala, the eye from behind. I'm sorry, what a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royalty? Queen? Princess? No, I do not own him, but I have a relationship. We're friends. Friends, how lovely, but yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bear of cages entered Mabuka's underground. But he's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, the fur is very dark, black at its deepest night. It's him. It's my friend Mr. Midnight. I have to go and find him. Mabuka is asleep, waking her up when in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Akula. But I'm friend, by the way. I'll see you around. Okay, find my cat friend soon. And we'll take your brush because that's all I know to take, really. Let's go climb inside a painting. Uh, key for room three. Oh. It seems it won't budge. Maybe I have to put a coin in or something. I don't have a coin though. All right, we need to insert a coin. Got a bottle. Excuse me, sir. I can see your heart. It's kind of strange. The fucking wire as well. Taking all the things. Use it to get down there? Nope. Let's go back this way and then maybe this way. Remember I told you his teeth is reinforced and won't help in his mouth. Sure, I remember that. So do creepy things like you feel pain? Pain is the opposite of welfare, that's all. 
Maybe warfare to me is to bleed until my body dries. Pain could be a chrysalis laugh of a child. So yes, I feel pain. I see. Well, I mustn't go now. Bye. This won't work. Can't do that. I thought maybe it would make the telephone work. I don't really know. Am I going to stab this guy? Shit. Alright. Room 101 is where I came from. Room 104 is where those guys are. Hmm. box the school base don't I need the school case because I need a case a bottle which I have I have a case now I have a bottle um, I need a clock a bulb and I'm guessing those are piano keys gloves and soap there was some soap in the other room a wire. I'm guessing this is a wire. I mean, technically. So I'm collecting shit for that. Yeah, but how do I get the thing? I need a clock, a bulb, soap, and a glove. I guess balloons are sort of like gloves, maybe. These water balloons with skull. Oh, skull. What do you want from me? Need to get down there, that's for sure, because I need that bar of soap. I need a coin. I don't have a coin. I've got a key and I need a coin. You have a key to room 203, which is right here. 202. Um, no. Can I brush you guys? Oh wait, there's more over here? Oh, now I'm down here, okay. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? I can't stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heartbeat. I just want soap. Soap, are you having trouble with hygiene? No, I don't have hygiene problems. I just want soap, that's all. I see, but that's not enough of a reason to have the soap, is it? Maybe for you, just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright, then take it. It's all yours. Thank you, guy. Careful with hijack hijinks. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their babies' bodies and keep the heads, their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Can I also, like, just fill up my water bottle there? I just need some water. This could work wonderfully if the water was on. Now I've got the soap. I've got my water bottle, alright? You want this rose? Let's turn that off. Alright. That's a nice picture of a whale. Maybe the hat for gap. Wait, why is it was hat here in like the third realm? I'm sure I remember that. And they feel pain. Why do you ask? I have almost everything. I just need a glove, bulb, and a clock. Hmm. The teeth are reinforced. Can I smack him with something? Like the butt of my knife, just punch him in the face with it. No, we need something sharp. And why can I mess with the clock? Who knows? I need a blunt object to smash his teeth in with. Hey look, a nutcracker. I 
There's nothing in here, friend. Nothing at all that you can use to snap someone's teeth off. A rock! Can we take the rock? Let's take the rock. What do we need a brush for? Hello, doll, don't look at me like that. You gotta deal. You stick here until I grow up. Alright, we got sock. A lollipop. You can close. Hmm. I stop looking at me. This eye is less creepy than that eye. Sorry, it won't work. What happens if I just go mad and stab this guy in the eye? Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? I still don't have a coin. I hope you find your cat friend soon. Well, do you have a coin, by any chance? Skulls on the wall. What if I brush your hair? I don't know what the brush is for. I have to take a break. Alright, I've reread that thing and it said insert button, so I'm gonna cut the button off my dress. Use it to get the fucking key because I don't read stuff very thoroughly. I'm actually gonna go and do this. Alright. I got the key to room 103. Give the thing a button instead of a coin. I don't know why I was looking for a coin. I think friend Bo said something about a coin. She was misleading me. But now I have a button. That's all I need. Bam. There goes my button. Now what? Crank the handle. I think I disconnected. <laughs> Fuck it. There we go. Spin the handle. Drum to the thing. That's not a key. Trying things out. Now I've got... You told me it was a key to room 103. Taking back my wire. Have fun being disconnected. Let's use it on room 103 anyway. No, we use the pliers to hurt the skeleton guy. Yeah! We'll pull out your teeth one by one. Fran's not messing around anymore. So it was kind of the key to room 103. Nope. Alright, it was the key to room 102. Close enough. Hey look, it's like a giant Mr. Midnight. The back of a giant cat. That's where I'm supposed to do everything, right? Okay. Need your clock. Mm, it's tightly tied. Okay. Got a clock. And now we have a glove. Hello, tree. Got a glove. So now, we just need a working bulb. Wow, what a big cat. Can't do that. Alright, we need the key to room 103. We need the key to room 103. Back of a giant cat. We need to combine all of these objects. Alright, we just have room for the working bulb. Working bulb. Probably in room 103. How do I get the key to room 103? How do I get the key to room 103? Could comb the monkey? I could... 
kill the monkey? Could kill the box? Freaking monkey thing. I could wind the handle. I don't have any more buttons for you. I need, a, I need another button? The eyeball doesn't have a button. What is this blue thing on his door? Does that make a difference? To anything? No, let's, let's go this way, fuck it. Door's still locked. Okay. And it's a bloody door, so it's probably like the worst. Hey, are you gonna talk to me and tell me how I hurt your friend? A working bulb, right there. I don't know at all what to call. Yeah, you're not gonna be of help. It's a working bulb in this light. Maybe. Oh, water balloons. No idea what I'm doing with water balloons and a hairbrush. in a friend's room. I feel like we don't need to be in friend's room anymore. I feel like everything that we could have possibly gotten from friend's room is done. I don't want to have better plans than waking up chained to it. Hmm. Been to room 105. Let's go back into room 102. It's the newest. And it's very small as well. Oh, there's a key. That must be the key for door 103. I can smell it. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. You don't need to talk. Just let me take the key. If you choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know, a hair comb? What is that? Well, it's something to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know, is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, but just promise not to burn me, okay? I won't, I'll only burn you if I'm in danger. Be gentle, nothing bad happens. Okay, I'll be gentle. Aw. It worked. And now they're back to flutterflies. Why is this happening to me? I never experienced anything like this before. But how? You are a lucifern. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. No, no, no. Go back up. You need the key. Go back up, friend. You need the key. Gotta get the key. The key is the way. Get the key. You can smell it. Can't reach it. God damn it. Somehow use the balloons to get the freaking key. <laughs> All right, let's get off. Climb up the tree. Climb up it. Okay, what to do? What to do? What to do? That's the room. I have balloons. I have balloons. That is it. Let's go back. What the fuck is this? Okay. I made them go up last time, but it seems to have come back down. Right, I've decided I don't care about the monkey anymore. I have balloons. That thing's back down, so whatever it is, it must not matter at current. Or else it'd stop messing with me. And then we've got this room. Can't reach the key. I need something to help me reach the key. I don't have a lot of space left in my inventory for stuff that could really help. Will this somehow... Nope, of course not. That somehow help? Nope. 
Trying out things is good, but in this case, it won't do any good. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. And this won't go over. It only goes up and down. Hmm. Alright, let's figure this out. Can I have your wood? <laughs> Can I just that piece of wood, maybe? Things not working makes me mad. Makes me mad too. I don't understand why it it word stuff is in here. If this is supposed to be like the hell. Unless he's a bad person. In which case, fuck. What's on the ground right there? Pink stuff. Pink stuff. What do we have that can help? There's stuff in here about gravity. Right? Gravity collects particles to create new ones. Creative force with creative inevitably. Never know what happened to Mr. Lennon. There's a bit about gravity, yeah? So if gravity is something to do with circles, and we have circles, and maybe if we examine balloons. Hmm. Oh, I just took a working bulb from like right here. Just grabbed one off of her wall. I just never noticed it. And just mistakenly moved my mouse over it, and there it was. Look back. Yeah, let's do this. We have everything to make the clock. It's been designed by Coglin exactly. Let's combine this and this. Let's combine. Combine this. We're ready. Let's make our clock. Must. Yeah, it's for your freaking clock. We have everything. Must wake up. Why? The trunks get me. It must be important. I can make it. I can make it. I have everything. And then maybe it'll give me the key to the last room. The last room will be the end of everything, okay? How do we make it? Okay, one empty case, working light bulb. Alright, we'll switch those two together. Combine. Can't be done. Why? Oh, we're just gonna shove everything in the hatch. Alright, so we're just gonna drop everything in the hatch. For whatever reason, I still have water balloons. Okay. Clever enough to find another solution. This must be for something important. Yeah, you just dropped all your stuff in it, friend. Use. Cat. Examine. Need to sing. I put everything. I don't need that. I have to find him and for that I have to open all the doors. Yes, I know. But listen. Oh wait. I didn't put in the key. There we go. Alright. Oh my goodness, it's the clock. Now we can use that. Clock on the back of a giant cat. Strong the bubbles and bright as the light. She cried me, Manuka, the mother of darkness will open my heart. Please take the evil porn, the evil child, and shut down the lights. Cat, I still don't know what to do. I have the machine. Is that gonna someone magically get me the key? I bet you the thing is in the last room, so I just gotta figure out how to get in the last room. I've already made everything. Hope you find your cat friend. I still see him inside the cage. That won't do. Why do 
I still have a green crown from like the first freaking chapter? Just so many things. You know when you feel so close but you're so, so far? Can you swing this back and forth? Can you... Got some balloons. What do we do? What do we do? Well, I like that we made the machine. That was pretty cool. Now just more roaming around until I figure something out, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna try to use the water balloons in the faucet. Let's see what happens. This could work wonderfully if the water was on. So you put the water on before you put the water balloons on it, because last time I checked that's a stupid way of doing water balloons. Alright, so we've got water balloons. Oh, turn off the- turn off this tab. Okay, what the fuck are we doing with the water balloons? How is that gonna help us get a key, though? Okay, cat, give me your tail. If I can hit you with water balloons, then what will happen? Nah. You'd think the water balloons would have been for when the girl was on fire or whatever and wouldn't give me shit, but instead I used the brush. What am I gonna do? Throw these at the key and hope the key falls? Missing something. Water balloons. What the fuck would I use water balloons for? I wonder if we throw it at the big eye that's outside the fucking window. Chuck it at her. She looks like you. She had really nice eyebrows. Plug back in the monkey. Paper swirls. Yes, you unplugged it and you've already used the wire, so. <sighs> what do we do with water balloons? What do we do with water balloons? Bathtub boy? This won't work. Yeah, of course it won't. What do we do with water balloons? Fran, come on. What else can you do? I'm pretty sure it words an evil person. And I'm pretty sure we have to get the key. I have no idea how to use water plants. You go in there. Go in the hatch. Because the hat, so the cat's tail surely could reach up high enough and then just take you there. But you know the cat doesn't speak English, so how do we get a key? What do we do with water plants? More exploring. Okay, so we found that if we talk to the tree, we can. Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I've not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a coma. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. I can help. I can get rid of coma once by myself. Really, it sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. We're gonna throw water balloons at him. Oh, goodness, I missed. Poor tree must be. Don't know. They don't like water. Okay. Now I only have two left, god damn it. Nope. Yes, I did it. Goodbye, calm Mala. Wow, I didn't feel sadness anymore, thank you. 
Don't worry, I'm happy you feel better. I feel better, let me give you something in return. A branch! Now we can use a branch to get the... Okay, I must go find my cat. See you around. Bye-bye, tree. Bye, tree. So close to the end of this game. Alright. Get in here. Go up the thing. So close. Use key. Fantastic, I can reach it. Now I have the key. Thank goodness. Now it's time to beat the final boss, or whatever. The mother of darkness. I'm pretty sure it words evil. Let's go find out. Fucking use the key. If it doesn't open this door, I'm gonna cry. Oh, it does. Creature from above, get out of Malbuk's den, you're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Ma Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka for you, you ignorant little infant. And how do you plan on waking her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? Cogwind is a nice clockmaker, he's not crazy. Also, you know him, I assume you've been then into Ethersta? Horde place, I may say, too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I went what I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you, you fragile little mind. We'll be safe there with all those boring creatures. I must go now, you wicked tree. My kitten is waiting for me. Okay. Let's just use it. I was gonna just place it on her heart, but I guess I'll just use it on her face. Light is too bright, the bubbles are too popping, the alarm is too loud. Oh, she looks pissed. Ah, beware of Mabuka! The aw the awakened darkness rise from the unknown. Well, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Friend Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den, that's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remar. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean, like, cutting my head open? I don't think so. Do you th drink or eat some of the reddish poison or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. This power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The fifth realm of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Volkas from Prim... Prim... Primaviv told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Ramar killed my parents, Mother M Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, friend, Bo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from despair and fear. But then, you don't care if Mar killed my parents. I thought you would. I'm curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key, be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Alright, let's climb into this weird lady's heart. Back in the fucking asylum! Awesome! There's the stitching lady who I stole the needle from. Did you I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle? Ah, did you stab your little friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Are you? You're the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ah, you little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I need medical attention. I don't need medical attention. I need to find my kitty. Take a number, wait. I don't repeat myself. Alright. That creature's body is made out of shit. Alright. Fucking number seven. Great. We use the fucking crayon All right. that we used in the beginning to make it number one. Oh, gosh. Don't tell me I need to leave this place again. Let's just go that way. It's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. Do I just give her the number? Oh, just take a number and wait your turn. I took a number. I'm trying to give it to you. Oh wait, we can go this way. Alright. 
Oh, look, it's all these people. Arg, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours, maybe days? I've been waiting a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting three and a half years. Totally hopeless. Ham, excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye is blind. My right eye is blind. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you. I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm. But how can you know? Do you feel pain somewhere? It's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's a very strange... Do you, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps me sometimes. Uh, oh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense into any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're the one that sees all. You've only known us for a few minutes. It's very little time to understand all. Hmm, that's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do to uncommon that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps us two to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon senses anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do. Do respect differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now I want to wait because talking won't make waiting go faster. Ha, huh, alright, thank you for nothing. <laughs> Frambo is getting so pissed. Right, let's stab everyone. I can't stab anyone. Take my ticket. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. I'll fucking stab you. Alright. Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. Hmm, that's not too convenient for me. I'm sorry, but no. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. I would like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so no. Would it be possible to change our tickets? Not really. No, I'm not interested. But what if you made it number one, okay? Seriously, friend, just think about this. It will work, okay? okay. <laughs> Give me number one. Oh, okay, friend, but won't. I don't know what else to do in this room. That must be the number display. Okay. I don't want to. Give me another ticket. Negative. I can't stab her. So many questions. She's back asleep. Fucking stab her. Hello, little boar. Hello, goat. You look a bit like Ramar. Probably Remorse father. Hush, hush. He's dreaming about you? Grinding with teeth? Your putrid skull drinking the tears full of fear? She grins with the blood of your eyes. Please her soul. Well, that's pleasant. I've unlocked all the doors. I've gone into all of the doors. I've done everything in all the areas. And somehow, I'm stuck in a fucking waiting room. Awesome. We stab the eye up. Oh, actually, let's go back up. I don't know what to do. Alright, we're gonna see if we can stab ourselves to jump the queue. Nope, nope, won't happen in this room. Let's see if we can do it this room. Nope, it kind of just makes friend change. Stabbing myself won't work. I can't stab other people. Can't break this box. Hey kid, this is my turn, now talk 
Now to talk to the nurse, alright? If you don't wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat you. You, you eat children? Do you know that we children are actually immature? Hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness. Don't you worry. You guys take forever. It's time for this shit. Ride the choo choo train. Why don't we try on a different dress? Hmm. It's you again. Did you find your cat already? No, not yet, but I'm not giving up. See you. God damn it. Hmm. Alright, so I started talking to this guy, and he says, uh, if I find out what illness he's have, then he will let me take his number. So now I have to find out what illness he has. How the hell do I find out what illness one has? Pretty sure he's fine, so. Tell him he's cured. And stab him. Tell him this is illness. How do I tell him what illness he has? Fucking eyes creepy as hell. Alright, we figured out your illness. It's stabbed in the fucking face. <laughs> Give me my ticket when you find out about my illness. Okay. I just give him a page of this book and be like, this is your illness. Cats and stuff and realities and Cry because it hurts. Okay. My eye is broken, his horn's broken, she can't scream, but he has no idea why he's here. Alright. Alright, illness. Hijacker, when you eat babies, they see and they touch. I need to find out about his illness. Bad hygiene! That's his illness. It's bad hygiene. The hygiene boy would know. He keeps asking me if I have bad hygiene. <laughs> And he keeps telling me to ask the hygiene boy, so... Check my soap. Do you have hygiene problems? I need your soap right now. I'm turning on the water. I'm turning off the water. I'm not sure what it would do either. How do I get the operator? Dial zero? I wish I wish there was more clues, man. Dead skulls in the wall. Get out. Alright. I don't know what to do. from fear and uncontrolled illness of the human mind. Alright. You have an uncontrolled fear of the human mind. 
You're not even a human, but... Tell him that. Give you my ticket. <laughs> Just take my ticket. Make up something. Who knows? Alright, we're following a tip to go talk to the giant eye guy. Because he sees all. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room. Waiting. Hmm, let me see. Oh, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need to help him. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do. But, I, but don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to get better when my kitty and I got home, but now everything is so confusing, and Aunt Gracie is totally crazy, and talking to her was horrible, and I really trusted her, and I don't know what to do. Mabuka said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty, Mr. Midnight hugs are the biggest comfort in my life and I just want to find him so that we can go back to Istrilla and be happy. Aww. Lovely pain. So profound. Alright. The bottle's full of your tears. Give it to the critter and then get your ticket. Awesome! So close. Okay, let's go back in. Let's go friend bow keeper of keys. Here, drink this and you'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. Haha, <laughs> how lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me a ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright. Here we go. Yay. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Oh, you're very tall. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can do to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, but do not help six people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. Lost kitten? Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. Huh. Lucky. But how do I get an appointment, then? Oh, just call me. Just my card with my telephone number on it. <sighs> Why must I call you? I can't just make an appointment now. Because that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Alright, I'll go and make a call then. This is like the UK hospitals. You can't make an appointment while you're at the hospital. That'd be weird. Oh god. Now I've got a long number to remember. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be right here. Oh, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, seven, six. It's a long number. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call and make an appointment. <laughs> mm, it's Renbo. Uh-huh. I'm available now. No, no, and no. Yes, I have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just upstairs. Or downstairs? No, I'm upstairs. Sure. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Renbo is my name. The appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, you are here. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Yes. Thank God. Oh. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pal pallid. Phew, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. <laughs> Hey, look! It's Rem Ramir. You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Ramor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Ramor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What'd you do to Dr. Dern? 
I enjoy immensely seeing you suffer, seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt? No, it can't be. Stop it. My friend Bo didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me, so stop it. Who was it, my darling, who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. I haven't killed him. That monster wants to trick me. I know it. Everybody's crazy around here and I have to find the kitty and leave. Water tank with water. Good to know. Hey! God. Okay, cat! Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow, meow. Why, why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Purr. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. This isn't the place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to... I thirst my darling. Paltras can help. I promise you nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Okay, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Dr. Dean... Dern? Are you okay, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Dern, wake up. Are you still alive? Uh, what should I do to wake him up? Alright. Hee <laughs> hee, maybe this will wake him up. Alright, ah, oh, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dern, it's me, Fran. Ah, uh, what? I can't see very well. Friend Bo, sir, from the Oswald Asylum, we were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir, the big monster brought you here, we must go. Come on, friend, monsters, I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all, just let me help you out. But, what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ugh, but I did. I told you she was hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me, Aunt Grace? What are you talk? Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was a young lady. My mother? Did you know her? Who are you? Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald, from Oswald Asylum. Yes, Fran, the same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find my key to success. The key, hmm, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course, Romero did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. But I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was always, it was you holding the knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Romero all the time. But why does this hunt me? Romero is a man of manifestation of your weaknesses, a blinded and powerful manifestation, manifestation of your fears. Why would a monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. Uh, but I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, friend. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitten and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. And yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Don't trust her, friend. What the hell? This has been a long time. A long time of you trusting people who are not very good. Dr. Turner, are you alright, sir? Alright. We got this guy. Go with your aunt, friend. Isn't that what you wanted? No. I want to, you know, not be the murderer of my parents, but... Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Friend, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. But Lucia was pregnant with you. He knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, we must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. And this little traitor must go.
No, no, kitty. Come on, friend, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Stop it, Fran. Help. Help. Please help. Oh, Fran's lost it. Pushed the little girl way too far. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh, shit. Oh my goodness, she totally she's totally insane. Bear to me, I'll do the experiment while she is still warm. I need to I need to extract the brain right away. Fred, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Durden. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many, many years now, looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Except Itward. I, I'm, I was wrong about Itward. He's a good guy. Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I'm Itward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ecto, bro, ec probe, yeah, whatever. Itward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. What's Mr. Midnight? little friend must be cured do you think you can use the same body yes yeah, she's not completely gone yet here I go oh mother Mabuka you took the innocence of a child friend is now dead and alive wake up in darkness friend and you'll be able to walk towards light Ah, uh, what happened? It were Paul Trask. My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive. My kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Friend, we must go now. Go? All right. Dr. Dern, look, it was Itward and Paul Tross. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? <laughs> he just looked kind of stumped. That's okay. That happens to me all the time. He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. You're parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Aw, oh, thank you, pal Traz. Now let's send Dr. Dern home. Marcel Dern... Aw, oh, no, yeah. Goodbye, Dr. Dern. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. That's the end of Flambeau! Thank you for watching this, like, eight-hour Let's Play. <laughs> um, if you want to check out the game, links in the description as always. Thank you very much for watching. This is the end. That was amazing. Bye!